Well, yesterday, a, a young 17-year-old called Caleb Langdale in Moorhaven, Florida, was attacked by an alligator. Let's hear what he did to survive his attack in his own words. When the gator is about right here for me, I take my left hand and I grab that skin up underneath him, trying to control him. And he just kept going, and I pulled his head up, and I wrapped my legs around him. And then he just went and dove. Well, he started pulling me down, and I knew it's either this bone, or I've got to lose this arm, or I'm going to die. Now, he very sadly lost his arm. It was found on the alligator hours later. Doctors were unable to reattach the limb. Interesting that Caleb but, told doctors right. that he said they always see alligators at this river in Florida, but they usually mind their own business. This alligator charged him in a way he'd never seen before. What do you think, Jack? What could have caused the alligator to behave like well, that? Well, several things. When I almost got it was when the alligators were, were next to their eggs. They, lay, they have a nest just like a bird. They lay eggs. And when they're guarding that nest, alligators, crocodiles, are some of the most aggressive creatures on the planet. They'll take down a boat if you come up to their, their nest. And they're not on the nest. They're away from the nest. But I think in this situation, the gator was there. It might have been breeding. It is breeding season. I don't know about the nest yet. But that young man, it's amazing how he knew that because he put his arm out there. If he hadn't, he'd been gone because he did the death roll. Like when I filmed a good buddy of mine in, uh, in, in uh, Africa, uh, in Namibia, lost it. not just this whole arm because he saw the gator coming after him. He went like that. Gator took the arm off here. Then another gator over, or crocodile came this way and got this one. So uh, this whole part of his back. So that's what happens. They, they, whatever they grab, they're going to do a roll like this. And that's what happened to that young man underwater. Boy, he was... He was so smart in presenting his arm. If not, he would not be here talking today. And I think it's because of, as I said before, it's because of either breeding season and or guarding those eggs. I'm not quite sure which one it was. But gators, let me show you something here, Pierce. Gators also hunt with, with uh, vibrations. Like right back in here, I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see the gator because I'm not going to get any closer to it. Um, yeah, no, we can. Back yeah. in here are, are, are sensors. The sensors are back in here. They pick, pick up vibrations in the water. Also, what happens to a lot of people, if they're caught, they're feeding gators, they relate food to people. That's why we try and tell people, and we'll get into the bear in just a second. Gators are, they have a very small brain. They've been around since the dinosaur era, but they come back by the thousands. And by the way, you get hit by lightning before you get attacked by a gator. The Florida Game and Fish do a great job. I think 22 people have lost their lives in 65 years. Now, that's a terrible thing that happened, but again, lightning kills more people probably than that happens.